So WashDOT says work to clear State Route 410 and Chinook Pass will begin on April 3rd. Right now, crews are still monitoring avalanche danger in that area. Chief Meteorologist Mike Everett is joining us now, and uh, we are expecting more snow in the passes as well soon, right? Yes, we are. In fact, we have a winter weather advisory and a winter storm warning in effect for the Southern Cascades. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Let's start with this live look from Bellingham right now where it is a bit on the breezy side out there. We had a frontal boundary that passed through earlier. Got those winds really picking up right around sunset tonight. Still gusty as we were just mentioning. Yeah, Julie Calhoun was getting whipped around out there. Looks like some of the strongest gusts are right now are over top of Seattle and out towards Boeing Field there. Otherwise, along the coast, well, really depends on where you are. Quillian, it's got a five mile an hour wind. Hoquiam's got 17 and off towards the east. We are tracking some calm winds in Stampede Pass, but off towards Puyallup, it's about seven to 10 miles an hour. Here's what's happening. The big picture there, ladies and gentlemen, is your frontal boundary. It's all rose, almost already clear of the state, but what it's doing there is opening the door to some instable and very cold air that's moving in. So you're seeing kind of a buttermilk sky there. A lot of times when you have a frontal boundary pass through, it'll be kind of clean and clear behind it. Not this time around. It's going to keep us showery and active through the weekend. In fact, as we put things into motion here, this is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We will see some of that snow up towards the mountains, especially down towards the south there and off along the coast. Now, one of the things that I want to point out is once again, we are tracking the potential for some lowland snow, especially across the southwest interior from Olympia out towards the coast. Once again, temperatures don't really support it accumulating, but we could see it falling tomorrow morning as well. Another thing I'm keeping an eye on is the evening commute right around 5 p.m. on Friday. It looks like we're going to be tracking some showers. It could be heavy right over top of the Seattle Metro at a very inconvenient time. And then take a look at this. You don't have to go very far east to see that convert to snow. We're going to see those snow levels plunge. In fact, they'll stay very low through the weekend. And while we're on the topic, look at this. This is 1030 on Friday night. We get a little convergence that sets up from Seattle towards Snoqualmie Pass and some of those models are suggesting that we could see flurries fly in the Seattle Metro. Again, not expecting much in the way of accumulation, but as soon as you head just a little bit off towards the east, the Renton Highlands, Issaquah, could be seeing some snow that could fall and possibly get up to about lawn level by the time we get to Saturday morning. Speaking of Saturday morning, things do quiet down, but whoops, once again, tracking the potential for some low level flurries along the northern portion of the I-5 corridor. Once again, doesn't look like it's going to accumulate, but it is a little weird given the time of year. Saturday night right around 7 p.m. We will be tracking some more low level snow and some showers this time a little farther south down towards Tacoma and Olympia and then by Saturday my night looks like things will finally start to calm down. As far as snow levels go, yeah, they're going to dip ridiculously low, especially on Saturday and Sunday. They kind of plunge down into the three to five hundred range, but then kind of bounce back up to about a thousand fifteen hundred feet there, which is where they'll stay going into the new week. So as far as lowland snow accumulation goes, looks like Hoquiam, Chehalis could be picking up some new snow. And as I mentioned earlier, Renton could be getting on the scoreboard there as well. Take a look at your seven day forecast. It's going to be a chilly weekend, but hang in there. By the time we get to Monday, it looks like a little ridge of high pressure is going to do a little rally thing. In fact, by the time we get to Wednesday, it could be close to 60 once again.